Well, hello, hello, and welcome to BS in the Afternoon on Hits 105.5. Today, I have Mystic Monday. Mystic Monday with Joelle Boroff. How are you, Joelle? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. I'm excited about what we're going to talk about today. Me too. I'm pumped. Okay. And so today, what are we talking about? We're talking Mm. about... Cacao ceremonies. Yes, cacao ceremonies. And cacao ceremonies, um, you see they're becoming more and more popular, like on Facebook and social media, like people talking about doing cacao ceremonies. Yeah, and I think with cacao, it's such a broad, um, beautiful medicine, and it's one of the like most tame ones you could possibly do. So it helps to just put your foot in the door just to experience sacred ceremony in any kind of aspect. And cacao is such a beautiful amazing medicine that it's just I don't know it's just easy to do you know yeah so let's talk about cacao first what is cacao so cacao comes from the cocoa cocoa bean um but it's basically chocolate at its purest form it's unrefined there's no chemical anything to it so in its purest form taking at the high doses that you do with cacao ceremonies it can help to induce the sense of compassion for yourself it takes you instead of listening to the headspace and it lowers you down to the heart chakra which then enables you to feel love to feel compassion to open yourself truly to your truest self so basically it's like drinking hot chocolate but a more amped up version hot chocolate yeah okay does it taste gross no it's actually really good i make it with uh, almond milk and honey because i try to keep it at its most basic pure form and like the cacao that i have Depending on where you are at in the world. So the Mexica, it's by women. It's harvested by women, for women, through women, and stuff like that. So it's very, and I, and where I source it is from Mexico, and it's very pure, natural. It's got different ingredients in it. And um, so by itself, it can be really bitter because it is that, like, 99% uh, cacao. Yeah. But... Um, adding in the little bit that I do does help make it taste just like you're drinking a melted dark chocolate bar. Okay. Um, and so uh, with the cacao ceremony, uh, what's the process look like? So the cacao ceremony, once you step into the temple, um, we set our intentions with the medicine because when, when you do sacred medicine, you always want to have an intention. You kind of pray over it. You thank the medicine. You thank where it comes from. You thank yourself and all of those aspects. And then once everybody drinks it, we... Um, just kind of share a little bit about what our intentions are, what we would like out of that journey. Um, and then I guide through a shamanic journey meditation. Through that meditation, depending on whatever we do, um, we come out with a message form from our higher self. So this cacao ceremony that I have coming up, we're going to be making medicine pouches for ourselves, pulling out the messages from the heart space to get our truest, highest guidance and our own sacred medicine within ourselves. Oh, that's super cool. It is really cool. I really... And ceremony is one of my favorite things that I offer because I just love the beauty of watching somebody fully heal themselves and just the relief. You could just see like this just weight sheds off of them and it's the most profound, magical thing. Okay. And that's really neat. Um, I have signed up for your... Um, next cacao journey. Yeah. And so I'm a little scared um, <laughs> just because it is a room full of people mm-hmm. um, that you have to kind of be your true self with. Oh, yeah. And the beautiful thing when it comes to any type of medicine ceremony is that you're surrounded by other women who are there for the exact same reason you are. Yes, their pain may be different, but everybody is there to heal. Everybody holds that sacred space for each other and we just all hold each other in that sacred reciprocity that yes we're all a beautiful mess together and we're all going to beautifully heal together in that same aspect so it's a very peaceful loving environment oh that's super cool and women only in this one (laughs) (laughs) yeah i like that obviously i like the women only because um it Sometimes when there's men in a group of women and then you're like, oh, try to be. Yeah. And it's not fun. And as a sacred facilitator, that's what's always been really important for me is when I have female only uh, events, it's female only. There's no if, ands, or buts. And if it's male only, then it's male only. Sure, I'm the one female. 
But in a lot of those different events, I also have males that help me facilitate those specific medicine journeys. Or like for the men's healing group, I have a specific man who leads those groups and I'm not involved with those. But I try to keep it that way. That way, when we're healing, we feel open, we feel ready, we feel comfortable around the same type of people that we would be experiencing out in the real world and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, So what are some of the benefits of doing a cacao ceremony? So the benefits of doing a a cacao ceremony is that it helps you to stop living in the head because a lot of the times when we listen too much to the ego, we get in our own way. We stop ourselves from listening to our highest, truest version of ourself. So it puts us in that state of true listening, true intention setting and setting into the heart. The heart wants us to heal. The heart wants us to move past things that we've held on to. It wants us to feel love and be loved. So it really helps us to release and restore balance within ourselves, balance back to nature, balance back to our own medicine, balance back to our ancestors and our guides. Um, So it could be a really profound experience. That's awesome. Yeah. I love that. It is. Okay. Um, And when is your next cacao ceremony? So the next cacao ceremony is February 24th (laughs) um, at 5 30 because i forgot to look the time up but um right now it well it was available to 15 people um it is now only open to three more people um so it's booked rather quickly um but yeah and you can find that information on dancing moon society Um, on the website yeah on facebook oh on facebook yeah okay oh website it's too much (laughs) too much too too much work yeah too much work but yeah okay so if you want to Um, learn more about what Joelle offers, or if you just want to, um, join us for, this is women's only, right? Yeah. So, um, uh, we do these every quarter. I would like to do men ones, but men traditionally have a hard time healing with other men. So getting them to do it, it's a little bit more difficult, but, um, the next couple are already planned. Um, one of them we're going to be doing sound bowls, and I have an, I have somebody who's going to be helping me, uh, Betsy O'Leary from the Moonflower Effect will be helping with that one. And then um, we're going to be making drums at another one, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, that's really cool. And so yeah. all you got to do is go to the Dancing Moon Society on Facebook, Yes. check you out, you'll see the event, um, and you'll see all the stuff that you do. Really? Oh, yeah. 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 Everything's on there. Everything's on there. That's awesome. Um, I'm excited. I not gonna lie, we're gonna have to report back on this cacao ceremony after we do it on the twenty fourth. Yeah. Um just because I think sometimes um it's hard for me as a person to open up. Mm-hmm. Um and so to do it in a group is scary. Yeah. That's the scary part. I think for most people it is. Yeah. But once you're in ceremony, um, so my first medicine ceremony was a Wachuma ceremony in California, and that's um, San Pedro. And that was 12 hours of medicine ceremony with like 20 plus women. They're all crying. I'm sitting there like, oh, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to cry. Here I am crying like a big baby with snot running everywhere. So it's it's actually a very welcoming, beautiful kind of place to and you just feel welcomed to shed all of that with your your, with your tribe with your women next to you and you create everlasting bonds that's awesome yeah that's really cool yeah all right well thank you for being on the show today yeah thank you for having me i love our mystic monday me too it's a lot of fun all right we'll be back with bs in the afternoon on hits 105.5 we got the pun of the day coming up right after this